What's good YouTube family? It's your girl Sophia and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be making a Jamaican ice cream. Alright. So it's going to consist of bananas, chopped almonds, I have some grease coconut milk that was in the can and it got thick by leaving it in the fridge. So I'm going to be using that. It's almost like a coconut whipped cream. I have some coconut milk that I've mixed out. So you can get the grease coconut milk. You can probably use one pack or two packs depending on how much you're using. I have three bananas that I cut up right here and I put them in the freezer to kind of get extra frozen for me to blend so that the ice cream mixture will be already cold. Alright, so I'm going to be adding it to the blender that I have here. Alright, let's throw that in. Kind of break the banana up a little bit, like so. Alright. And now I have the, the coconut milk. Before I go ahead and do this, the coconut milk, which is the grey powder one that I told you to mix. Don't use a lot of water. You want your coconut milk to be thick. Alright? Not too water. So preferably I suggest you use two. Alright. Also, the coconut milk, I add some Betty condensed milk to kind of sweeten it. So it's actually sweetened coconut milk. So I I had already sweetened it myself. So I'm gonna add that onto the bananas that I have here. And I'm gonna be using coconut milk that I told you got really thick like whipped cream right here. So this is like a coconut whipped cream. Alright. I'm gonna add maybe like a half a teaspoon or maybe a teaspoon of vanilla then put an extra flavor. Go ahead. banana a little push down I think I'm going to name this ice cream crunchy munchy or banana crunchy munchy alright get a look at that so kind of just show them what's going on in here so you can see it's already like an ice cream consistency Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out some more till it's smooth. Lovely. Take a look back in here again. So it's almost like a, a melted vanilla ice cream consistency right now. Alright. Still has little chunks of banana. Now it's up to you. You can leave the, ch the chunks of banana in there. Or you can blend it until smooth. I'm going to give it another blend. And now you have your ice cream base, which is made of sweetened coconut milk, the frozen bananas, and the tips of vanilla. Alright, just get this off. And you guys can see the consistency of that. It's almost resembling a pancake butter in some sense, alright? I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape that right out. And then, for the crunchy element, of course, the chopped almonds, I'm gonna kinda mix that in a little bit. Sprinkle a little bit more nuts in there. I like a lot of nuts in my ice cream, so pretty much you'll find it very crunchy. And that's where I get the name of Crunchy Munchy from. Now I have some chocolate that I had chopped and placed in the freezer. And I'm using the Charles milk chocolate. So I went ahead and chopped that up. And I'm just going to Drop that in my ice cream. Alright. Kind of mix it around. 
And here you have your crunchy munchy. And just be generous with the chocolate. See there. I know no must have said, why she not put all the chocolate in there? Alright? And let me be generous with the almonds as well. Put a little bit more. It is crunchy munchy, isn't it? Alright. So there you have it. And I'm just going to place it in the freezer. Didn't reach my ice cream consistency for scooping. So you want to put it in an airtight container. So you know I have my quad pan right there. And I'm going to place it in the freezer. And give it about 8 hours. I'll actually give it the exact time after freezing it. And tell you when the ice cream should be ready. Approximately 10 hours later.